Okay, here we have the track phone CTE symbol T L T E for Android. So basically, this phone is a 3x phone. That means that the minutes triple. Okay, it's 4G LTE and some other stuff. So let's open it. Comes with uh, instructions. Comes with that. Uh, okay, more instructions. More stuff. All right. Okay, so here's the phone itself. Here's the battery and cover. Some more stuff. Okay, let's look at this. Let's take a good look. A proximity sensor. Earpiece, touch screen. Okay, here's the size. So it's a fairly large phone. Okay. Let me put it here. So uh, two point two point ten, I believe. And then like that, it's going to be 4.6. And I can't do the thickness, but it's... This is without the cover. About half an inch. Half an inch. I'm going to install it. Okay. So it does feel awesome in your hand. Okay, it is CTE, only one slot. And now this, a lot of safety. On the back, you get everything but in Spanish. So if you want to read the whole thing again in Spanish, you can. Okay. Let's look at the keys. Here we have the back key, home key, and active apps key. This is for the Android. For the Android system. This key right here is the speakerphone key. When you have an active call and you press it, it'll go to speakerphone. This key right here is the camera key. This is not the email key, this is actually the text message key. And this right here is your favorite keys. When you press it, you can assign it to anything you want. This is these are the navigation key up, down, left, right. This is the answer key. This is the clear key. When you press this, when you're typing something and you press this, it'll clear one character. And this is the hang up key. 
and the rest right here is the these are your usual keys right here is the microphone and let's see on this side we have the usual volume rocker I think that's what they're called focus focus and that's all on that side on this side we just have the uh, earphone jack and right here we have the USB port okay now let's examine let's look at the interface okay this is home there's your usual notifications okay this is email browser play store contacts this is the phone and these are the contacts I think oh, no messages that's the music and that's the camera now let's go to the and now let's look at what we have here same stuff we have a calculator calendar chrome clock download file manager some versions of android don't have file manager so we do have that here we have gmail let's move to the right hangouts we have maps uh, this is your account for track phone now let's see you can play movies play music okay sound recorder task manager voice dialer and at the very end we have a voice search wi-fi utility and youtube well let's look at the settings settings wi-fi bluetooth mobile networks sound and not notifications display date and time language and input well, you're probably wondering what kind of languages and it should have every single lang oh what happened here only two languages so if you're gonna give this to somebody that does not speak English or Spanish you better be careful because there are only two languages but I'm sure that if this phone updates It'll get every single language in the world. Okay, spell checker, keyboard, touch pass, has a speech, voice input. And that's it. As far as settings. So let's see what else we have. So we did languages, data usage. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Home. Oh, okay, never mind that. Let's see, battery. Eh, let's forget about that. Okay, let's see call settings. It has location. Let's see what that is. Mm, accounts printing. It actually has printing. About phone, that's the model right there. That's the Android version. Mm -hmm. Okay, here are the frequencies in case you want to know. Try mode. It supports the 800 and 1900 on the 3G mode 
and the LTE is 700 1700 2100 I can't remember what bands are those but for sure if you're gonna use this phone that's how it's gonna work okay so now let's go home okay let me see let's test the cameras now so we'll use the shortcut camera and it sends me straight to the cam so you have your usual photo right here that's photo and this is video if you want to record so let me I'm gonna have to see this do an indoors recording okay so the camera is actually right there so it gets you have to hold it carefully so you don't block but now I can't reach the button so you have to use two hands for that okay so let's this is an update about what I just said I just said that you have to put your hands like that so you don't block the camera but now you cannot reach that button and I said that you had to use two hands but actually you don't you can just press this button right here and it takes a picture so if you want video just click the right button right here and then press that center button again and now it starts recording so you don't actually have to reach up there you can use this and this so now let's stop recording and that's how you do that oh anyway let's see if I can photograph this and now let me take a video of this and and okay now let's go outside and take some outside videos okay now we are outside so let's see what the volume rocker does okay when you use the volume rocker it sort of zooms in okay and now I'm zooming out okay so that's interesting so let's see if we can read that okay let's step into the light So now we're in the light. So this is how the world looks like from this phone. Okay. We're in the same place, but now I'm doing a panoramic view, which it's is a um a what's it called a uh, landscape I think not the vertical but the hor when you hold the phones horizontally we're gonna see if there's any real difference all right so I'm still recording so now I'm going to close I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the flip phone but without stopping the video and see if it keeps recording. And here we go, one, two, three.
Okay, so when you close the flip phone, it automatically stops recording. So that's good to know. So now I'm going to take some uh, photo stills and see how it comes out. Okay, right now I'm using the back camera, and now let's see if you can actually read small print with it. And the answer is you can. Just barely, but you actually can read small print. America's largest and most reliable 4G LTE network. I could barely read it. Let's see if we can read some more. And yes, you can for the most part. Let's keep looking. If you have the right amount of light, you can. <clears throat> Sorry about that sound. Ooh, it's not going away. That's the neighbor's AC that needs to be changed. Okay, now we're gonna try the, the front camera. So I can't actually see if it's if you can read things with it. But that's how the front camera works. Okay, so look at this image. That's with the back camera. And now let's switch to the front camera. Okay, that's that same image we just saw, but it's with a front camera. Okay, let's do that experiment again. This is the back camera. This is how everything looks. And now let's do that again with a front camera. Okay, and this is the front camera. That's how everything looks. And now you can see the difference between the back camera and the front camera. Okay, we are back indoors. So now we know how those videos look like. So the next thing I wanna show you is a video like uh, on YouTube. So let's look for YouTube. We can find it. Here we go. La solitudine. That is uh, Italian for um, loneliness. This is one of my favorite artists. How to make a video Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's an ad, okay. Get the volume to go up. Okay. So that's how that looks. If you don't, um, if you don't maximize. So let's maximize. So if you max, oh, accident hit the rocker. So if you're gonna do that, you're gonna, if you're gonna watch a video, so you're gonna be watching it like this. So it's no big deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna try to lower the volume on this because I know that YouTube is gonna say I violated some copyright rules or something so now I'm gonna go home the way to go home is either this red key or this um, the home key so I'm gonna use this key right here and that sends me home so we've tested the audio and the video at the same time so let's test the um, this right here the earphone jack okay now I want to test the earphones the I should say the the phone the headphone jack I already plugged that in connected it to my um, speaker and let's see one of those videos that I just saw that I just for some reason it wasn't working before but now let's see if it works so it works and I hope I don't get in trouble for copyright violations that's not what I'm trying to do here so now let's try the um, let's see Bluetooth let me unplug it so we know the headphone jack works fine so let's go to settings wherever that is here we go now let's just look for Bluetooth here we go and that's uh, one of these two is I don't know which one it is I think it's this one okay so let's go back and let's hope I don't get sued for copyright violations so I'm gonna stop it right there before we get in trouble and the YouTube the, I should say the Bluetooth works so let me turn it off okay so the next thing we're gonna test is what should I test maybe the news I mean the browser Let's go to slow. I'm on Wi Fi, so here we go. This is the browser. So it works, it works fine. All right. The next thing I want to try, let's see, if you're making a call and you decide to hang up, all you have to do is close it. If you receive a call, you'll get the person's number right there. And let me put that to the test. I'm going to call this thing. Okay, let's try receiving a call on this phone. So if you do not, if you want to answer, you just flip it open. If you want to hang up, you just close it. Now let's try getting a text message on this phone. That lets you know right here that you got a text message. So you open it. And there you are six text messages
Okay. Now, one thing I want to talk about, I saw a new, a new, another review about this same phone. And the guy said that if you press it like, if you put it in your pocket and it was very tight and you were pressing it like that, it would, it would somehow push the buttons and make calls. It doesn't seem to be true at all. I've been pressing this for, I've been pressing this a lot and it does not happen. You cannot sit on this and make calls accidentally. It just doesn't happen. So I don't know why that guy had that problem, but on this phone, it just doesn't happen. No matter how hard you press, and I'm pressing it really, really hard, it won't press those keys and it won't make um, accidental calls. Because the phone is still turned on, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna accidentally do this. If you, if you close it, it's closed. So you can wear this, you can use this on tight pants or you can press it. It's just not happening. Okay, now typing on this is fairly easy. It seems like the screen is too small, but it's actually fairly easy to type on it. I'm going to download a game. Here we go, new, and I'm going to install it. Okay, and it's doing it. Okay, so let's look at the favorite key right here. I just changed it to YouTube. So when you press it, all you have to do is focus. All you have to do is press it once and it automatically takes you to YouTube. And the way you do that is it's like this. The way you assign a, a an app for it, is you press it and hold it. And then it lets you choose what you want to assign to that key. So what I did was assign it to to YouTube, but let's change it to voice di uh, let's change it to let's see settings. Okay. So now let's try it again. Let me press the favorites key and it takes me right to settings. So now let's look at the text message key. You press it and it takes you where you want to go. All the messages. There is no way to change that. So this is always going to be text message. This is always going to be camera. And oh, there's one thing I haven't shown you guys. Is if you for example this right here, the loudspeaker, you make you make a call. Let's make a call. Okay. Right now I'm making a call. Okay, so it's going to sound here. And, as you can see, you can't hear me because I'm not on loudspeaker. But if I press that loudspeaker key, now you can, you can hear me now. So that's what that is for. And that's um the echo is because the phones are too close. Okay. We got a message, I don't know. Okay. So let's do something else. We have email, I haven't assigned my emails to that yet. Okay, the next test we're going to do is we're going to try to transfer a file from this computer to our phone. So let's open it up. I want to remind you that we're still loading that, um, that game on the Play Store. 
as you can see although it was close the flip was close it was still doing it on the background so anyway let's go to settings and let's go to Bluetooth and on this one let's go to preferences and here it is so we're going to try to pair so now we're paired okay so let's send the file to that device and I'm gonna make one of send this one right here this file I'm gonna click send okay so now let's open it and we're gonna open it with the music and we'll click on we're gonna click on always And there you have it, people. So let me click the home key and see what happens. Oh, it turns off. Okay, so let's go to music. And now let's look for all songs. And it's that same file. Hmm. Rocker thing. So what happens when I press this? It plays in the background. Isn't that cool? Alright. So what happens when I close the, the screen? Still playing. And it sounds awesome, by the way. Okay. Now let's try to connect. Okay. Well, I'm worried that this is not good. Let's turn that off. Okay. So that worked. So let's. Okay. Now we're gonna try to use it like an old, like an old flip phone from, from the early 2000s. So instead of using the screen, I'm gonna use the these keys right here, the arrows. So they work. So if I want to make a call, I just press here. So if I want to go into here, just press that and press that. I don't know why that came up. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to revisit the favorite key since I like listening to music so much. I'm going to go ahead and reassign it. To do that, once again, you just press and hold this key, the favorite key. And now this comes up, so now I'm going to look for music. Should be right here. Okay, so I'm in my car. I want to listen to music. All I got to do is press that. And there we have it. I am very... I am very impressed by the sound of this thing. You can actually feel it vibrate. It makes the phone vibrate. 
my other phone doesn't do that. Okay, so now I'm going to do a comparison with the sound quality because I do believe this sound is better than most of my other phones I've ever had. So let's test it. Listen to the bad one first. Listen to the good one. It's more, there's more bass to it. And of course, on this one, if I touch the... When I play the music on this one and I touch it, you cannot feel it vibrate. But on this one, I can actually feel the phone vibrating. It's so, there's so much bass. Quite amazing. So I don't want to... I don't know how... Um, how much bass is enough for you, but it's certainly enough for me. Wow. I just wish that this... Oh! Now it starts working. You close it and you press that. And now you can pause it. Okay, now we're inside a car and we're going to try to we're going to try to see how this behaves. Okay, I already paired it to the car. And now let's see. And there we are. What happens when I close the flip phone? It continues playing. Focus, focus. It keeps playing. And of course I can control it from here. Let's pause. Pretty cool. So now let's try to make a phone call to it. So I guess to do that, it's already paired as a. So basically, let me turn it off. Audio off. And now let's call it. So I'm calling it.
hear anything? So let's answer. Hello? Hello? Now you can now hear? You can hear, you can hear you can me through the... the you can hear me through the car? The, that, that echo, echo that, you that you hear is because, is because the, the phone, phone is too is close. close. But it works. But it works. And I never, and I never actually, actually had to, had to open, open the flip. The flip. It's still it's close still and, it's, and working. it's working. And that's how and it's that's supposed, how it's supposed to, work. to work. It's a it's smartphone. smartphone. So let me so hang, let up. hang up. To hang up, I hang up right here. I hope. Yeah. It ended. So this works very, very well. So basically this flip, flip phone does everything a uh, smartphone is supposed to do. How about let's test the um, the navigation. It does have navigation. So let's look for the navigation around here. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Flip phone is right there. So it's actually closed, but it'll still give you directions. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Fort Bend Parkway Toll Road. Turn right onto Fort Bend Parkway Toll Road. The navigation works with data plan, with data access or without data access. So you don't actually have to have a data plan to be able to navigate with it. Okay, one of the cool things about this phone is, is that you can set keys, um, keys two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine for speed dialing. The key number one is always set to voicemail. So if you press it and hold it, it takes you to voicemail. So let's um, let's set a number, for example, key number seven. So I press it and hold it, and you get this screen comes up. I'm gonna try to focus it. There we go. So do you want to set that key now? Let's say yes, we do. Okay, so now let's set number seven. And we can either type in a number here or choose a contact. But let me first type in a number, an artificial number or a fictional number. So you can do that. Let me press the clear key to erase all those numbers. Okay, or we can simply choose one of the contacts that we already have. So, so let's look for contacts. And here are my contacts. I'm going to blur it. And I'm going to choose this last one. I'm going to blur that and say OK. And now it's ready. So here's that phone number. So let's put it to the test. I'm driving along the road. I'm in Italy. I'm in my Lamborghini. And I want to make a phone call. Just kidding. I'm not in Italy. I don't have a Lamborghini. It's nice to pretend. So I want to make a phone call. I know it's the key number seven. I'm going to call Skywind right now. So I'm going to Oh, I can't see those keys. Okay, so I press it and hold it. And there you go. And that's how that works. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature that used to be on flip phones. It was universal. But when 
these type of phones and smartphones came around, we lost that feature. But now we have it back with this phone. Okay. Now let's view the game controller, the Bluetooth game controller. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to click fly solo. And now let's map our keys. Okay, let's look for controls. And now let's go for commands. And let's look for accelerate, uh, throttle, throttle up. And I'm going to use this for throttle up right here. And then throttle down. I'm going to use this for throttle down. And that's all I'm going to do okay so we're back so let's get going let's throttle up And you can assign all these keys and we're going to crash With all these keys you can assign it to the game. Okay guys, so let's wrap this up. Okay, here are my final views on this phone. It's a great phone and there are a few things you need to know about it. It only costs $50 at Target and it's $70 online. The camera does not have a flash. You need to know that. There's no flash in the front or the back camera. There's no flash at all. On this phone you can type fairly easily on the screen. But that was not an issue at all. It has everything you would expect on an Android phone, such as Play Store, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything else. One of the best things about this phone is the sound as far as I'm concerned. This is just my opinion. It has an amazing, amazing sound. It's the best sound I've ever had on a phone. And I've, I had several phones and I tested other phones. I actually sell phones. Cell phones and... um. This is the best sound I've ever had. It actually vibrates. It's like you're holding a speaker. You can feel it vibrating. And the song I showed you, it was not a it was not a rap song or anything like that. It was just a regular French song. Which is, which is this song right here. See, that's not a rap song or a heavy metal song, but you can still feel it vibrating. So the, probably the sound is my favorite thing about this phone. Uh, another thing, it has a speaker physical key. I think that's very important and I really, really like it. When you're making a call and you want to put it on speaker, all you got to do is press this. Okay, the next thing. It has a it has both a front and back camera and they're actually fairly good for a $50 phone I wouldn't expect more for for that um, this phone triples the minutes that you get from track phone it doesn't say so oh here we go it says so right here it uh, triples all the talk text and data And I do want to let you know that it, this phone is not suitable for gaming. Although it will play games and you can actually map some of the keys. 
it's just not meant for that so if you're a heavy gamer or just a regular gamer at all don't get this phone because it's not going to work for you and it does support 4G LTE so that's pretty good so do I recommend this phone 100% yes for people that do not they're not gamers or they're not heavy users of uh, Android like like gaming or that kind of thing just for catch <clears throat> just for casual use and um, mostly to send and receive calls and you have that that um, practicality that flip phones have that you don't have to put a case on it because it's it closes you so you're not worried about the screen getting cracked oops the the screen getting scratched everything is sort of protected and so you're you're driving you don't have to be doing that swiping thing that doesn't always work and when you want to hang up all you got to do is flip it close you have it like this you want to hang up and you and that's it because when you have an android phone or a smartphone sometimes you think you've closed it you think you've uh, disconnected the call and it's actually still there and whoever's on the other side could be listening to you but that's not going to happen here and like i said there was another review on the on youtube about this phone and they said that if you press it like that it would it would press the keys and it would accidentally make calls but in my case i've tried that a lot i almost i think i pressed it hard enough to damage it and that just doesn't happen and that's it thank you for watching and subscribe